Good evening, everyone. We are welcome to, to say to this class. Um, we are still going to continue from where we stopped in our previous lecture, which is our APB. Which is what? That's a adjusted present value. Adjusted present value. In our previous class, we conclude that APB is an alternative way of evaluating business. Instead of using risk adjusted cost capital, then we use what? Adjusted present value to evaluate the project. And we say that APB is best used or is suitable where the business risk we are the project, rather, we change the business risk. At the same time, the project will also change the finance risk of the business. Instead of us looking for a new work, that is, looking for risk adjusted cost capital, we can use APB as an alternative method to appraise the project. And we said, APB is a summation of the elements. APB is the solution of one base case and PV like this, then plus number two, plus or minus the financing effects. The financing effects. I will say the financing effects are PV of issue costs, if I'm correct. I will say PV of past savings on what? On the interest. Then we also say that PV of an interest savings. Interest savings on subsidized loan. PV of interest savings on subsidized loan. By the time we add all these labels together, then we say it, your APV will be positive or negative. And we say it, our additional criteria is that you accept the project if the APV is uh, positive. That's when you accept the project. And in our first class, we we'll discuss in details what base case. Everything is all about. I would advise you should go back to the previous class and read it very well. Or you should go back to the previous uh, the video. I think I must say that I will, I will do that very soon. You should go back to that one work and watch it very well to understand what this case MPV is really all about. For just a comment, this case MPV is when you appraise can we get MPV? You assume that the project is all equity finance. That is, when you are going to finance the project, you won't use debt to finance the project. When you use what? You are going to use equity alone. In that case, you will discount the MPV using cost of equity of a GM company. That is, you work of a GM company to discount the MPV to get your base case MPV. Number two, we move to finance effects. We we'll discuss PV of EU costs at a class class. And we said in most cases, when you are trying to raise the funds needed or required for the project, there are some costs that you incur. And those costs is we finance, we affect the manner at which the project will be. Built. And we said that. It is not as a result of the cash flow of the projects, but a cash flow arising as the consequence of your investigation by what? By borrow money. But without the project, you what? You borrow the money. So as a result of that, we treat our the relevant cost, which we are using here as pure income. And you say that uh, the PV of your cost is not on the amount you need, but the amount you work, amount you base. That's why we use some uh, mathematical techniques. To do that one in our previous class, and that's not the actual issue cost. Away from that, I think that's where we stopped that last class. So today we are going to continue from the PV 
of tax savings on interest. Now, if you want to finance a project, you are using equity and you are also using debts. On this debt that you are raising, you are paying interest. You are paying what? Interest. interest. And that interest is an allowable expenses for the purpose of paying tax. And that means that the more you are paying interest, the more you are worth, you are reducing your tax. That means you are what? You are saving money from tax. Instead of paying it, you are saving it. So the PV of such a cost is relevant to this uh, financial effect. But one of the major challenge about this variable is that it depends on the type of loan that you get. Some loan, the manner of paying your interest is just a straight interest rate. You borrow one million naira, and interest is paid at ten percent. Straight loan annually every year your annual interest rate is just ten percent times what one million. I mean, you look for that hundred thousand. That means every year over the life of this loan you will pay other hundred thousand every year. I mean, that is one form of loan, straight loan like that. But where some loan we are amortized to the award? Amortized You pay the loan based on the receiving balance basis. That's what amortized. You pay the term of the remaining loan. That means you will have to take it back to the financial instrument, amortized loan. So if a loan is an amortized loan, then you don't just compute the interest rate straight away like this. I just say ten percent of the loan principal. No, then you have to show your work amortized loan. That is one of the area we are. We have difficulties in computing PV of tax. So we are going to look at the, all the scenario now so that we better understand. So I'm going back to Spark. So I'm picking my pack, I can pack. I'm reading for page um, 448. Present value of tax sheet, PV of tax relief on interest cost. PV of tax relief on interest cost. When a new project is financed wholly or partly with new debts, Finance, there will be tax relief on the interest. There will be what? Tax relief on the interest. The PV of this tax benefit should be included in the APV of the project. That's what we have to see here now. The PV of that tax savings or relief is part, should be part of your work, relevant for your APV. I'm going to pay 448. I'm using new power. Now, the PV of tax relief on interest is calculated by the following. Calculate the interest cost in each year, like what I did here now. Please you say that I know. How much is the principal? One million. How much is my interest? Ten percent. If this works for four years, that means each year, year one, year two, year three, year four, I will pay a month. Hundred thousand, year one. Hundred thousand, year two. 100,000 year three, 100,000 year four. Yeah, that would not have been my tax savings on it. So that's about it. Calculate the one, the savings in taxation arising as a consequence for each year of the project. Then I will not have, what I'm going to do now, I will apply my tax, I will mean, get my tax savings on each of these loans. Then what I'm going to do next, I will not have to do that present value. What I need is what? Is the present value of tax savings on the interest. That's what I need. So I'm not having the present value. What the challenge now is this. What is the cost of capital that we have to use to discount it? In when we are talking about PV or value cost, what do we do last time? Fill and low. We use it there and unless otherwise stated. Use what? Use it. Am I talking now? Yes. But by the time we now come to the PV of tax savings, what by using about Discounting this savings in taxation to a present value using what the tax rate of interest on the debt as a discount rate. So in this case now, when we are when we are not computing PV of the interest now, you use what the tax cost of debt to discount the half to get your PV. Please, 
when we are dealing with the issue of the man low, please raise me again, unless for otherwise to change yeah. it. But for this one, what do we use now? Yeah. Eh, the task of the lapi, the task cause of the debts to discount it, to get your present value of the task of the interest. So let's try to look at it now. The calculation of interest rate I've explained earlier on, that to get the interest, the annual interest, it depends on the type of loan that you are getting. Is it straight loan or amortized loan? Amortization loan, you have to show your amortization table. A straight loan does what? Applies to the way and you to it. So it depends on the question. So I've said down that, uh, let me read again. The amount, you can calculate, calculate interest payment now. The amount of interest costs in each year will depend on the time of the repayment of the debt capital. If debt finance is repaid in full at the end of the term of the borrowing, then the interest cost is computed simply as what the principal and not borrow. I mean, but by what the interest. That is if it's a straight loan that just pays once at the end of the life. But number two, if the loan is an amortized loan, then, then, and the debt and the uh, sorry. And if a loan is an amortized loan and the debt is paid gradually over the life of the loan, you will need to work out your annual payment on the loan, principal repayment plus interest, and uh, separate the total annual repayment into principal repayment and what? Interest repayment. That you have just show your amortized loan. That's what they are actually in there. Then this separation is of interest charge on the loan principal is necessary because. It has to be applied to the interest payment in loan and not the repayment of the loan principal because what you are looking for is what is interest more the principal. So you have so in order to rationalize now, let's look at the question. We are still dealing with the same question from our previous chapter. That's from page of which page is that? From page of question on page four, four, five. I mean, so now let's continue now. That. I'm reading now a question now, example now. In the previous example, suppose that the company borrowed 204,000. Hello? Now let's assume now that if this company now borrow money, I'm not borrow money. What happened? They are tired. All is well. I'm not borrowed. How much do you borrow? 204. You borrow 204081. Please. You want to be very careful in the question. Let me talk to something now. Let me take you back to the question. Let me talk back to the question. How much do we need? Uh, hello? The total fund. The total fund was 600 million. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 Now, these are not needed, are yes. Hello? Yes, sir. But there was a little cost. Please look up now. Now, a cost for equity. How many was last time? 5%. 5%. Yes. If I'm correct. Yes, cost for the equity, 5%. For debt, 2%, yes. I mean. By the time you are calculating the new cost, we said to get the new cost, we will do so a small amount of it. We said, I'm not needed, are The new cost, are we? And then. Uh, Amount raised. Have it? That's this amount raised. New cost, we don't, we don't, I want to get this amount for equity, for the entire. We don't know the new cost. Have it? We said, I'm going to raise the amount in there, plus the new cost, we get amount raised. Have it? And this one is, how many? This one is 2%. Sorry, this one is 5%. This one will be more, and 5%. Have it? Then on that note, this one will be 100%. So by working it out, what will be the amount raised? That will be 100 times 100 percent. We have another percent to get amount raised. Have you? How about amount raised? Yeah. 421. 421. 053. 053. That means for the sample, 21,000. Have you? That's for equity now. Then for the debts. The amount needs for debts, 200,000. Have you? If you cost, we don't know it. Then amount raised. Amount raised. We don't know it yet, have we? 
Or are you because I'm percent, two percent. I'm not really be ninety percent. No, be what? Hundred percent. So we get our amount rates. Two o four. That be two o four zero eight zero eight two. You know that be how much? Thousand zero eight. Now this is what I'm going. This is what you are going to use to calculate your future of you because I did. But my time now come to the. You got the question. Question by four. I stay away. To get your interest, you don't use the amount of the debt need. Because this is what you need, Abi. Why not you borrow? Two or four. Why? Because of what? So you got Abi. So in reality, how much do you borrow? So you have to pay interest. You pay interest on this, not on this. Am I talking? Nobody will tell me that in the exam book. But but now you now come back to this place now. But now you now come to the new cost of the thing now. The difference of the interest now. You are going to calculate your interest on the amount borrowed. Not the amount needed. So therefore, I hope it's much now. Two o four. Our interest rates. You know me. Our interest rates. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Only be. I I look at the price now. Okay, not the same question. Page four. No, 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 no. Page four four eight abi. Okay. If you want example, I suppose that the amount borrowed is this. The form of three. Okay, in the form of what? Three years amortized loan. Right now, amortized what? The loan. Amortized loan. Abi, at what rate? Five point three. Five point three percent. So this place what is amortized loan? It's amortized what? Loan. Then the rate of tax twenty three percent, right? Abi, the tax payable in what year? In the order in which the tax is paid. Abi, okay. So since this loan. Is amortized loan. See this loan is amortized loan. Then when uh, when Mary was my when I you know she made you know me. You call look for it. So me have it. Moji eh. But when you talk about you talk about you say me last move enjoy it. So when you check it, you want to me that Maria? Okay. I don't want it. I enjoy his uh Moji recommended by who he down down part two. Now, look at this scenario now. The uh, please hope I've got I'm getting the, the basis for that. When you are computing your interest, your interest is computed on the amount you borrow, not the amount you work you need. So the amount borrowed. I'm not borrowed the loan now. The date of the loan, I'm going to two o four two o four zero eight one zero eight one. I'm going to tie loan right. I'm going to amortize loan. So this amortize loan, there's a need for us to try to work out our amortization table. And what's the interest on the question? Five point three. Five point three percent. Then the first you have to do is this: you want to tell me. Your annual repayment. I mean, what? That means what? Annual repayment. That how much will be paid? Annual repayment. You have to cover both the principal and what and interest. So your your annual repayment now. Annual repayment of that loan. Annual repayments. Don't forget one of those things that we use annuity for. And that will be the last thing. Check what you know. Check what you know. Below me, Abi. What you below me? When you show me annuity, say relate annual cost. I told you that you can use the public for the annual plan. We have all the information now. If you follow two o four eight and it's one, and the interest rate is five point three for how many years? Three years. Then how much will you be paid every year for three years? That means you have to calculate your how do you want the principal of you, the principal divided by what annuity annuity factor. Am I talking about this? So you know you are not paying. You have to get the principal. You know principal. You don't have annuity factor. In that case, it will be annuity factor for five point three for three years. You see your formula: one minus one plus r, which is minus n over what over r. That is one minus one point zero five three, which is minus three over what zero point zero five three. What do we have? Two point zero eight zero. Zero like this, Abi. So therefore, our annual repayments, our annual repayments, will now be principal two o four. 
Okay. 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 Only my own, my own, my own, my own, my first own is, is to pass away all these boys. What happened? You get to get out of the road, you get to get out of the road, you How do you learn? Yes. How do you learn? So with that, we have complete our pleas. Without this annual repayment, without this annual repayment, automatically, you are not complete your advertising. Because you must know your annual repayment. Am I talking now? Yes. So question, express me. You will give you the annual repayment. Am I talking? So why will give you especially the annual repayment? Why supplier will not work, will not give you? So in view of that, I will have loan and my participant table now. Loan. Oh, you don't forget where we are going, we are coming from. Where are we going? Interest. We are calculating the better value of the tax savings on the interest. Have you? Yeah. And the first thing you have to calculate the interest first. Once you know the interest, then you can calculate your tax savings. Okay? So that's what we have to do your the open balance. Of the loan, then we have uh, the interest, then the principal repayment, and the closing balance. So, for year one, how much was the open balance of the loan? So, the okay. liar, you borrow 204, and your chance to be the class. <laughs> That will be 204 and it's one again. Yeah. Then how much do you pay interest? You pay 5.3. 5.3%. 5.3% of 204 and it's one. 10,816. 10,816. Then how much I will pay principal repayment every year? 75,362. Right? So my again, our balance will not be open balance. Plus interest minus principal repayment. One three nine six five three nine six five three nine five three five. Then you have two. Your closing balance is coming down to the open balance, right? That will be what? One thirty nine thousand five three five. Then the interest balance also. Seven thousand three ninety five. Yeah, this part of the payment will be the same thing. 75362. Where are we? 71,568. 71,568. Then we are three. That will be 71,568. Here will be 75,362. Automatically, you don't do that. It's three years ago, right? The balance figures will be the way. 3,7,94. 3,7,94. Don't find the balance because you like balance. Three nine, three seven nine four. Three seven nine four. Like this, yes, they are this or this, and on this one you get cash. So in view of that, we have computed our interest for each year. What are we looking for? Tax savings on the interest, right? Yes, sir. So let's try to get our our tax savings for interest now. The tax savings on the interest now. On the interest. Our interest for each year, year one, year two, year three. Our interest for each year is this. Have it? Year one, 10,816. Year two, 7,395. Year four, 3,794. This is our interest each year. Do forget. What are we looking for? Present What are we looking for? PV of tax of interest. Have you? This is interest yet. Have you? We have to get our our tax savings first. Our tax savings now. 20, our tax savings. Twenty three. Our tax savings. Twenty three percent. Twenty three percent. Yeah. This is two point eight eight. Two thousand. Four eight eight. Four eight eight. One thousand. 701. 701. 873. 873. This is our this our tax savings. savings. Are we stop here? No. no. What are we looking for? PD of tax savings or interest. Are we together? Yes. So two more guys. How do you pay our tax on the question? I mean the rate of taxation is 23% and is payable in the year following 
the profit to which the task relates. What does that to be? What does that signify? The task service year one is going to year two. The service in year two going to year three. Service in year three going to year four. So therefore, the PV of tax savings on the interest now, on the interest, will not be year zero. Sorry, year one, year two, year three, year four. The tax. Say this now. The one in year one, we will up year two, 2,488. The one in year two, go to year three, 1,701. Am I communicating with Yes, sir. The one in year three, go to year four, 873. So, therefore, our DCO, don't forget, don't forget that our cost of should be what? To be what? To be what? Yes. 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 Eight one three four. So by that we must buy them together like that. Seven ten. Seven ten. Second to the last one five six six. One five six. One four six five six. Five four six. Five six. Five six. Five six. Five six. Five are you opposite? They are all savings now. They are all savings. One four one zero. One four. Four four one one. That's our PV. Are you seeing now? So that's the procedure now. Once the loan is amortized loan, what please you have to look at the point very carefully. The loan that you have obtained is not the project. Is it amortized loan? If yes, the first thing you do. If the principal repairs on you, what you do, you calculate it first. Right of okay, how do you get it? The principal, you have your annual capital, have you? You will get your annual repayment. Once you have done that, what do you call this? You amortize loan to you, have you? You get this open balance, interest payment, your repayment of principal, and you want to tell you here, that will be your annual repayment, then you get your principal balance. Have you done that? You will now you will extract out your interest, have you? Then, get your interest, then get your tax base on it, this is what you are what you are putting PV on. And don't forget the timing of the car flow. Is it at the beginning or, or actual? Have you? So is it in arrears or actual? If it's in arrears, you have to remove it. Year one, go to year two. Year two, to year three. Year three, go to year three. Year three, go to year three. Year three, year three, to year four. Then you have to put the present value. So on that note, this is the PB of what tax saving on the agent. But yes. if but if it's a straight loan, we may not follow that uh, suit. How much is that? Pre-tax first of the yes and risk free. Uh, are they the same? No, they're not the same now. But it was the risk free that was 5.3. Is that what they say in question? Uh, for, for question is, put it that question that we are dealing with. Oh yeah, come on, Mr. Apply, come show you for me. Is it page 488? In the pure example, suppose that the company borrowed 204,000 in the form of three years amortized loan at 5.3% interest. <laughs> uh, actually, so that's what it's not a risk. Rate. So, on a good day, the next thing you should do now is that since you have put all the variable cost. You have calculated your basic MPV from our previous class, PV of uh, uh, AU cost, and PV of passive interest now. And that will add it together to you get your APV. You can look at the summary now from the manual. I'm reading from page uh, 5 to 4 now. Your APV now, number one, the base case NPV. You have done it before, have you? Yes, sir. You got 44,250, have you? Next one, the PV 
of usual costs, which will have done also 19,644. Have you The PV of tax savings on the interest. Have you which have gone down? Only there have been that will be 4411 the savings. What do you have? That's our APB. 29017. 29017. That's our APB. What do you have? To what is positive now? What do we do? We are set the project. We are set the project. So, the reason for using APB. Why do we use APB? I know it's not a discussion. It's not a discussion. You may not see that, so we are going to be part. But from our question that we will pass later, we will come across from the uh, loan. So, reason for using APB. Why do we have to use APB? The APB method might be used in preference to adjusting the weighted average of the capital of the company using the Modigliani Amida. This is for several reasons. Why do we have to prepare APB the others? The APB method does not rely on a sort of about newer if the firm. If the, of the firm, if the project is uh, undertaken, unlike work, unlike a uh, proper method, that you have to say you have to put down that work. APB does not rely on that. APB is not rely on that work in complete its own scenario. Number two, APB methods allow for the specific task you need on the borrowing to finance the project and does not assume that debt will be perpetual debt. Can you see that? APB consider Every other way is misfiling the debt. Normally, on, on a good day, and people will not consider EU cost. And people will not consider interest on the loan. I mean, but APB is what is trying to break all those things into, into play in computing and evaluating the project. Number three, APB method allow for other costs, such as cost of raising the new finance, that is, the EU cost. So, in, in summary now, it may be argued that APB is therefore the best method of estimating the effect of a new investment on the value of the business entity and the weight of its work shareholder. Comparison now between NPD and it. So in summary, NPD is the best method when we are trying to evaluate the capital project because it's considered every other animal cost. The interest cost in your, the target of the interest in your, you could call it like the that the cost that arise. As a direct consequence of your work, of your decision. That's why we are trying to bring them in, unlike normal MPD that we want to just ignore them. So let's try to compare now. Comparison of MPD and APB now. The MPD method of a project evaluates the matter. The MPD method of a project, eva a project evaluation, and the MPD method provide different valuation techniques for proposed capital investment project. Yes. If it, it is possible that one method might indicate that the project is acceptable financially. Hello? You can use NPV and you can use APV. NPV may say asset. NPV say asset. Why APV said rejects? Hello? NPV say what? Asset. APV say what? Rejects. Have you? go. It's possible that one method might indicate that the project is accepted financially, whereas the other method indicates that the project is not worth behaving. That's a lot of the The MPV and the best MVP are calculated using the same approach, the same car flow, except that the MPV, the car flow for the base case MPV should be excluding in other costs, such as finance costs, whereas they are uh, included in the calculation of the APV. So, what I will say is, in summary, the one I override them is what is a APV. The who, who try override? APV. Although, whichever I pay, your APV and basically MPV, you are using the graph to write, I mean, just that here, you have to, you have to consider using cut of the good of the chair company, I mean, but here you do go, cut of the good of the chair company. And you have to ignore your issue cost here, but you have to consider your issue cost here. So, in view of that, let's practicalize the question. That combine them together. I'm reading the question from page 451. Question 451. Let's start. So, the question, practical number five, please, is a long question that you have to take time to go through. 
example, a company, a company is considering whether to invest in setting up a new business. Are we there? The cost of the investment would be how much? Nine million. I would say that, please. The project will be financed by raising 4.5 million of a new unity and the same amount of the new debt finance. That is 4.5, 4.5 Abbey. Hello. 4.5 equity, 4.5 debt. That's the meaning. Now, the 9 million will be used to purchase assets for how much? 8 million. There will be an investment of 700,000 in working capital. And the new cost will be what? 200,000 for equity and how much? All right, and you have to select the value of 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 Now, the purchase asset will, will attract capital allowance in the form of a 25% annual written down value on what? Reducing balance basis. The pre tax operating cash flows from the investment are expected to be as follows. Pre tax operating cash flow, year 1, 2, 3, 4. 1.8 million, 2.1 million, 2.4 million, and 2.7 million. Tax on profit is at the rate of 30%. Assume that tax payment of all in the same year as the profit or benefit to which they relate. At the end of year four, the intention is to sell off the business as a continued operation and the expected receipts from the sales net of tax are how much? 3.6 million naira. The following information is also relevant. The investment will alter the company journey towards 80% of equity and 20% of debt. That is, after the project, hello, their structure will change to 80 20. Why the equity better for the project? The equity better. For the project is for 1.25. The debt finance for the project will be the same as the company's other debt, which is what 7% before tax. The new cost of raising the new equity and debt would not be allowed for what? for tax purposes. The risk free rate of return is 100 percent 5 percent and the market return is what 9 percent You are required. Calculate the NPV. Of the project and two, the APV of the project. Now, the truth of matter is that if you can be able to solve this question in your pack, it gives you the base knowledge of what you are looking for. That's why I used to take my time to solve all these most complex questions. Although they may not be as difficult as what you should be expecting in the exam, but it's going to give you what the basic knowledge I need. This question is two in one. They are trying to compare NPV and APV. So number one, they say compute NPV. Compute what? NPV. Now, one thing you should understand about this question is that after the project, but let me say let me say something. A company is considering, I'm I'm, I'm paraphrasing this question again. Last first line. A company is considering whether to invest in, in setting up a new Business. When you are setting up a new business, what are you expecting? Your business risk will work to change. I mean, and to now watch this scenario, they need nine million, and they are raising debt and equity. I mean, it means that technically their financial finance risk will work to definitely change. And from our previous knowledge, we said that any time, any day. When your business risk change, what do you do for? What do you do for? Proceed company. I mean, you look for the proceed company. On this question, you have to be very careful. The proceed company is not given to us for expense reasons. I mean, but the only thing they tell us that, to our account, if you go down, 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 you to be money pay, that's the information number, number two. The equity better. For the projects, equity better for the projects what 1.25. So we don't mind on a good day. If you are computing your normal NPV, hello. What we normally do is this: since 
the project has altered the business risk. As if that it is an alter the financial risk. What you have to look for to get the closing company away? Yes, sir. The closing company. Once you get the closing company, you will definitely have your equity. Have it. You have your award, your debt. Have it. Yes, then you have your better equity, equity of a chair. Have it. Yes. On the good day. What we do is this. We on the this. Have it. Yes. To work to better assets. Have it. You will now be it to better equity of a GIA using three possible financing structure. I mean, yes, what, are the, what, are the, what, are, what are we using? Project. One, the project, the next, I mean, two, structure after, structure after the project, and structure before the project. To my money, go back again to your work in actually projects. Mm -hmm. yes, I think I've, I've uploaded a lot of video on that, video, or some of my laptop, I don't know. But I've sent some, some to the news, you have it? Okay. Please, go and check this area very well. Now, what's what this? What do you do next on it? I try to what? To capital asset pricing model. And for the other do next? This is the one that we will use to work to appraise the entity. Are they? What we are looking for entity. Now, in this question, <laughs> they do not give you the process of the army, but they give you the better equity. Are they? Yeah. This is the one that we will proceed to better assets. So we got from one or the other. What is the way? Now, you see that? Are you there right now? This is what we are looking for. And that we want, that we give them. So the only thing you need to do now, just move from here, into here, and then, and your work. But, so the, the appropriate of capital now, the appropriate of capital, appropriate cost of capital for the project. So we don't we already have the better equity. What is it? The better equity or the budget not there? One point two five. That'd be one point two five. But look straight away. Apply the way straight away, have it? So therefore, our cost of equity of the jet company is not the work, risk free plus the better the like return on market and as well, risk free. So what do we have? Risk free, what was the question? Five. Five. Plus 1.25. 9 minus 5. 9 minus 5. So therefore, our cost of equity of the GIA, you know the rent? 10 cents. 10 cents. So with that, we have to put our work, our work. What is the structure of the company after the project? The new level structure now. So our structure after the project. The structure after the project. Have it? Yes, sir. That will be equity, have it, and debt. This is 80, right? Yes. This is what? 20. 100. Equity now is that much? 10%. The cost of debt. What are the cost of debt? question. Yeah, from the project. What are the cost of debt? So, combine the poster, what do we have? 4.9. 4.9, have it? That will be uh, 9 to wrap it. What are the cost of that's it. It's not 97. Eh? 7 to 7. That's it. 7 to 7. That's it. 7 to 7. So, 10 of 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8.98 percent. Oh, you know how to get it. 8.98 yes, divided by 100 times 100 percent. That would be our one. So this is the work of a GM of the Abbey that we need to discount our 
MPSB. Okay, let's talk about MPSB now. We have had more cost than have it. Let's get our MPSB provided. Our relevant cost, relevant cost for this MPSB now, relevant cost. Number one, initial outlay. Initial outlay. One, the amount you will spend on the, on the project. Eight million. Eight million. Eight million. Eight million. Eight million. Two, the working capital. Seven hundred thousand. Seven hundred thousand. Then the input cost. Eh? Hello, yeah. Four hundred. Input cost. What's the water? That's uh, spending on the project. Eh? The money we spent on the project. Eh? What's the difference between the 9 million and the 8 million? The whole money is 9 million. You use 8 million to buy assets. You use 7 million for working capital. 3 million dollars for EU cost. Everything is that much? 9 million. That's it. That's what, no money. So this is down. Number two, the the cash flows on the project. The tax that we could calculate tax flow away. The tax. How many times we have to pay the years? Four years. That we have one, year two, year three, year four. How much cash flows? One point eight million. Two point one million. Two point four million. Two point seven million. We the tax on the days. The tax, how much is tax there? Have you? Yeah, hello. Five forty. Five forty. Six thirty. Six thirty. Seven twenty. Seven twenty. Eight ten. Eight ten. So our tax, have you? I look at our tax. That year. That year, the actual. So next one is our tax on capital allowance. Now tax savings on capital allowance. So we have our tax rating down value. Our tax savings. We have years. How much is the cost of the asset itself? 8 million. The cost of the asset itself is 8 million. Have you? Yeah. Then our year one now, capital allowance. I've got three, please. 25%. We have 2,000 for the first one. Did I have a cover? Yes, sir. 6,000. Then year two, capital allowance, that's our tax rating down value. Year two, capital allowance again. 5%, 1,500. That's 4,500. That's our tax written down value. We agree? Capital allowance? 1,000. 1,000. 1, 2, 5. How many years do we Four, okay, yeah? 3,000. 3, 3, Then we have four. Capital allowance is made. There's no scrap. You put the, the scrap due to us was in the scope of the company as a continued operation. The whole business that you are not selling asset alone. Hello. Did uh, I read it again? Yeah. Information number before, before one. Before number, number, number 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 one. Abi. Second part. Only way. Yeah. Thank you, Abi. Yeah. Only way at the end of year four, the intention is to sell off the business, not the asset. Or what? Your business as a what? As a continued operation and the expected receipt of the sales net of tax is how much? 3.6 million. So you are not saying that too. And I said to you, and everything together, you take it with tobacco. You know the asset. So, we look for what's the number for this one? 844. What's the balance? Yeah, 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 yeah. 2531. So this is the balance of it. Balance is at the business. So let's get our tax rates now. What are the tax rates? We have tax, 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 the next thing is going to put our MPB. We're going to put our what? MPB. Now, he 
this. This is where our base case test will be and our normal MPV direct from each other. On a good day, our normal MPV, we have GX, year 0, year 1, year 2, year 3, year 4. They are all thousands, right? I mean, yes, sure. Okay. Then, our initial outlay, please, when you are dealing with normal MPV, how much do you incur in year zero? Nine, Nine million. Have you? Yes, sir. My copy, please. Yes, sir. You. you will show eight million for assets. Have you? Someone down there for capital and show it down for you because have you? When you are dealing with normal MPV, all your cost is coming. All your what? The cost is coming. This is how we do not hear. If you like, you can say the machine cost. What will you receive in the separate sentence? How is my machine cost? This million. Have you? Working capital, you don't need. Then, it will cost. 300,000. You bring everything in. You are what? You are selling. Then, our cash flow, the task of the one, year one, wow. one point eight million, have you? Yes. Year two, 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 two point one, two point four, two point seven. Then our tax, how much do you pay? Five forty, we are paying is that it? Six thirty, we are paying seven twenty. And what? 18. Have you? You follow by tax savings. On what? On capital allowance. Hello? I think we should not be screened now with this kind of calculation. We work with those who find our park. How about our savings? 600. 450. 337. 253. Now, on a good day, our principle is that our principle is that to me now. Our principle is that, is that why? Our principle is that when you incur capital at the beginning of the project, are they? Yes, sir. Yeah, of course, are they? You are expected to come back again as well as inflow. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. Only good now. As you are bringing here as inflow. But something about this question, okay? You know, you are talking about two years, you are not here at all. She comes to my business, she comes to my Now, on a good day, as you are report back my work after here as inflow, have you? But that's the principle. But don't forget, don't forget that the business. Was sold as a what? As a continued operation. What does that mean? Let me pay at work capital. At the asset, who see that you? I mean, at the scrabble, you will make me do that. We take it. We take it. But what? How much do you collect? Three point six million. So you better be now. That work capital is what is inclusive of that three point six million that you are getting that simple, except otherwise stated. That will be your assumption. Am I talking now? Yes, sir. When the company is sold as a continued operation, your staff of your visa of asset is inside. What I mean is inside. Am I talking now? Except what? Otherwise, okay. what I can tell you that we're getting to see no end. That okay, well, this exclusive deal does not include work capital of 300 of a 700,000. That is, we will show you as well. So right now here, I also show the work, three points as the sales course of the project. And we want to now make the something very easier is what net of tax. How do you have what? We will remove tax. How do you have now? So therefore, our sales course now, sales proceeds as what? Continue operation. Hello, Jess? Yeah. So, we have that our net cash flows 
nine million. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh six zero six zero. One eight six zero. One nine two zero. One nine two zero. Two zero one seven point five. Two zero one seven point five. Five seven four three point five. Five seven four three point two. Point two. That's our next car flow. Don't forget our DCL. What I'm done? You want me to how much is it? I mean. 8.98. So year one, year two, year three, year four, level zero point nine seven six. So you are that. Our PV nine thousand Four zero seven one. Four zero seven two. Seven one. Seven one. Ah. My so, so therefore, our NPV is what? Forty six million. Yeah. Minus. Let me see what I mean. So based on every calculator now, what do we do? So we change the products. What do we do? Yeah. So we are still to continue with the question. From the previous session, we have completed that question, we have completed our NPV normally. I was there. So now I want to look at the APV now aspect of it. The same question, the same principle, the same scenario. Our APV. Don't forget from our analysis, we said APV is what? Is our summation of base case NPV. Am I talking this? Base case NPV plus what? Finance effects. Finance effects. Which will comprise one PV of usual cost. That is our PV of tax savings on interest. In this question, there is no subsidized loan, right? Are we? Let's start now by one our base case NPV. Our what? Base case MPP. Now, base case MPP does not actually materially different from our MPV. Two things that make it different is that when you are computing your MPV, you consider the cost of the machine, working capital, and usual cost. But when you are dealing with base case MPP, you must always ignore your usual cost. So you only focus on what? On the cost of the machine and the working capital. Am I talking? That's first thing. Number two, the cost of capital that you, you use to discount base in MPV must be what? Must be what? Work of a GM company. That is, cost of equity of a GM company. So let's try to get the appropriate first now. The Appropriate rates, appropriate rates for base case MPV. Base case MPV, which is what always work, cost of which of work on GM, which is not the work, the work of on GM. Now, on a good day, hello, on a good day, what do you do? Get the proceed company, Abi. Have you now? Yes. You will get the equity of the proceed company like this. You get this word, this debt like this. Have you? Then you get the total. Then you now get the better the equity of the GIA of that proceed company. Have you? All you do this, you on GIA to work to better asset. Am I talking, please? Am I talking? Yes. Once you get the better asset, do you need to regain this again? No. 
I apply to the world of God. But this question, you know what? They don't give us the pussy company. I mean, yes. what they give us, they give us the better equity of the projects, which is should have been better used to better assets and better assets with GI. When you are the GI to this place, what are we using? You are using project mix, right? I mean, project mix, which is what? Equity of this question, 4.5 million naira. Yes. I mean, yes. how much? 4.5 million naira. Everything is what? Nine million. Nine million. We are told that you will raise out of 9 million naira. 4.5 for equity and 4.5 for what? For the debt. What we pay, and this is what they give us. It means that they've already on this to this. Once you have reject this to this, to get this one, what do you do? You on you on it back to this. You see the mix of the project. Am I complicated now? Yes, because what you need is the better assets. That belong to the world, to the project. Now, the better use that the lady chair. So, what do we do now? Let's on GI guys. So, on GI, the better use of the project to better assets. On GI, the better equity, which is what? 1.25 by B, to what? To better assets. That be? That for now will be what? Better assets. You can see better. Better assets. In other words, better equity of a year times value of equity over value of equity plus value of debt and stats. You know what, There is no cost of a, well, there is no better of debt, I mean, so we are using the smaller part of this uh, formula. Then why not? You are back, you easy, that don't be it. Don't come back, don't come back, you easy. Eh, why ask what is it, the channel is not so what I would say here is this. We know the better equity to do 1.5, have you? We? we know the structure of the project. How much? 1.5, 1.5, have you? We? Let's go for that. Better asset that would have become what? 1.25 times 4.5 for equity, 4.5 for equity, then 4.5 for debt. Our tax rate, 1 minus 4.30, So you have that, our better asset. We go 0.74 like this. That we have better asset. So, on getting better assets, what do you do? Apply it to the way you work or your campaign to get your cost of equity of on GM. Am I complicated now? Yes, sir. It's simple as ABC. So our cost of equity calculates calculate the cost of equity of on GM using capital asset pricing model. Are we? Simple as that. We have cost of equity of on GM, not the risk we Plus the better assets, the better return on market, and as a risk fee. Risk fee? 5% plus 0.74 minus 9 minus 4, 5 are we? So the cost of equity of Fontia, 11. 7.96%. Is it as what? Why? Fontia. 7.96%. So this is the work that we use to work to complete our base case entry. So it's beyond that. Our animal cost was 10.8. 10 10.8. Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Yeah, there. 7.7 times 5 times 4 plus 5. 7.4. I mean? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's seven point eight. This is four now. Okay. Have it? Now, Emma Bombio. Our business MPP now. Our business MPP now. All our red costs remain the same. 
except that we will not recognize the new court. Abi? Yes, So if I'm um, to be very smart, let me try let me go put again. No. We are not already Abi. If we are we are from people to our our cash flows are years, year zero, year one, year two, year three, year four. Our cash is actual, right, Abi? Afar. Yes. Are you sure? I went to go to the So, our outlay, it only eight million. That's for the machine. Let me put it there. The cost of the machine, the working capital, it only is 700,000. You do cost? No. 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 Because this now basically is MPB. We have to remove the way we finance the project out of the way. Next one now, the our annual cash flows. Have you? Year one, one thousand eight hundred. Year two, two thousand two point one million. Year three, two thousand four hundred. Two seven, two thousand seven hundred. Then our tax that we are paying five forty. 630, 620, 720, 720, 720, 720, 720, 720, 720, 720, 720, 720, 720, 720, 720, 720, 720, 720, 720, 720, 720, 720, 720, 720, 720, as a continual operation. Three point one million. So in view of that, our net outflows that eight thousand seven hundred one thousand eight sixty one nine two zero one nine Five seven four three point five seven four three point two. So in view of that, this is our next car flow. Please, what would you start to discuss? What for the chair company? What we are doing to work? So we go to the other. Peace, Abi. Peace, NCB. So that was DC of how much? Seven point nine six percent. We are one. 9263 last one four two two eight one million one thousand six zero three. Only one thousand six zero three. Like this. One six four seven. Only one six. One six four seven. One seven. One seven two three. One seven. One seven two three. Not alone. Find our our space. Case NPV 11 501. 501. What's the negative? So our basic is what? 501. Who did you forget? Don't forget that. What are we looking for here? We are looking for APV. Yeah. So we are successfully now. We have completed our first variables. This is what happened. What are those variables? Basically, the people who have gone to the 501 again, we keep it there. Everything down, right? Yes, sir. 501. Are we? Yes, sir. So let's now go now. Our finance plan now, number one is what? PV of EU cost. So, away from base case now, let's go for the PV of EU cost. Now, the next thing now, once we have put our base case, the next one now is what? PV. Of what? Video cost. Video cost. This question is a very is a bonafide question. Is it what? Mm. It's a bonafide question. Why? But before what? Abi, we are going to buy you. Video cost for equity. 
I want to spend it. Of course. Uh, so that's how. Therefore, debts. 100,000. 100,000. But well, something that I'm very careful here is that the new boss is not allowed for tax. I mean, this one was really one day. Go back to the question, question number four. The new boss is not what? It's not allowed for tax. So if it's not allowed for tax, what do we do? No one lap. So therefore, I have found, and my wife, you know, the PP, you cost, you need to win. As you, by raising the fund, this is Yazel Rabi, so the PP now, it will be yes, Yazel Rabi, together, I don't know where you are, you might have to buy that, to rent out. So the cost is still 100,000. Abi, our DC of, based on SFM Park, Icon Park, 2022 edition, you will discount it using what? Using what? Release free. Except, otherwise, it's just said. You discount your period of use, you see what? Risk free. How much are you here? 5%. percent Then, our PD. He has said all the way up. One. Thank you all the way up. Correct. Since it is not allowed for tax, your PD is how much now? So, therefore, the PD is got to be on rent as. That's the main area, Abby. Every single rent out. So, our PD is how much? Three hundred. Abby, is a cost. That's about two. I want to get that. Yeah. What next? PB of war has a piece of interest. Where's the happy? But the way I was saying it, these people always call like putting in this. Come again, come again, so it's okay. Like PB, uh, calculation of cash. What's your name? But let's see, Abi. Uh, well, for the top of my next one more. Because the day we are buying, the is you going to be allowed for tax. The day you going to be allowed for tax, is you going to be the same? No. Who is going to be the same? Are you happy now? So in that you have to bring your tax, Abi. I have to work with that. Next stop when you get your PD. So don't always assume. But when you put it, you will come see the zero. But maybe I'm not use this. So first of all, some people also be very funny. We tell you that they don't raise the fund, you are zero, you raise the fund, you are one. I mean, so please, don't always assume that you always do the same. Look at the point very carefully and put it correctly. Before you can jump to that conclusion that you always do the same. But in most cases, in most cases, you always do what? You mean as well, you are What next? Give me your tax. Give me your tax. Savings on what? Interest. <laughs> now, in this question, how much do we borrow? How much do we borrow? Nine, 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 nine. We borrow from five million naira. Am I borrowed? Is four million? Abi, what? Abi? Yes, sir. That's what Abi. Let me do that. 4.5 million dollars. This loan, is it an amortized loan or a straight loan? Straight. Not a bad, let's go. Let's say it again. So, who knows your Now, how do you call? Since Nobody tell us that it's a amortized loan. What do we do? Straight loan. What's the interest? The interest is seven percent. I mean, that's how it is. So therefore, our annual interest rate now, our annual interest rate, it will be seven percent. Below I was four point five million. You are saying three point five. Three more five thousand, right? Yes. This is our interest for each year. I mean, yes. what are we looking for? Our tax savings. I mean, so therefore, our tax savings, tax savings on the interest will now be what are tax rates? Thirty percent. I mean, thirty percent multiplied by three one five. Look what? Ninety four point five. Ninety four point five. Abi, 
What are you looking for? Fantastic. So we are not telling you now. How do we pay our time for the person? After a year. How many years is long? Four years. Four years. Because it's the one in the language. So, so therefore, our PB now, our PB will be year, yes, year one to four away. Our interest, our tax savings, rather, tax savings will be how much? 94.5. We are On a good day, our this year for the passive of interest, what are we going to discount? We we'll use pre-tax cost of a bond. How is pre-tax cost of bond? Have it? Seven percent. So we have seven percent. We have our PB. We have three point three eight seven two. Three point three eight seven two. Seven two. Have it nine zero. Three twenty. Three twenty. Nine zero. Have it. So. That I'll give you a passing on interest. They will come back to this now. 320. So if you have that, 521. Our A, B, 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 but if you use APD, APD says you are asset of what? 521. Which one should I write that one? So, in view of that, we have come to the end of APD from our ICANN part. So, our next, our next now, our next to do now, or our next one to do, we have covered our capital budgeting all through in our part, have And we have also covered our MPV also in our part. So for the next two, three lectures now, we'll be dealing with the questions and solutions from our question bank. So please, anytime you are coming for lecture, or every time, come with your question on capital budget or capital budget. And if you also come along with it, some person, anywhere we stop along the line, go to the next topic, sources of uh, finance. That will go to the next. So, thank you very much for that. So.